Hello everybody, I'm Nurgle Pro. welcome to my top 100 games of all time list. Today is December 20th and we're going through four more games and we're gonna do it a quickie today, so let's get started. My number 24 and my number 23 are actually two games out of the same series. I could have put them in one, but I feel like one is a bit better, well not necessarily better, but closer to my heart. So. I guess, in a way, better. So my number 24 is Portal 2, and my number 23 is Portal 1. And Portal is a, a puzzle game where you play a shell, I believe. I will pronounce that in Swedish, because it's more fun. Um, <laughs> you are playing this woman who's going through a trial of horrible, horrible experiments, and at the end there's a promise of cake, at least in the first game. And there's an evil mastermind called GLaDOS that controls everything, I believe that's how you say that, uh, GLaDOS, that controls everything and that keeps giving you comments on what you're doing and uh, is trying to be rude to you in a very, very, like, imagine old teacher kind of way. Oh, you're doing it really good, except not as good as all the other kids, you know, that kind of thing. And you're alone in this lab kind of thing where you have to use portals to go through different levels and different areas and puzzles generally. And these portals work in a way that you put one, you have two, one orange hole basically and one blue hole that you can put in, on areas with your gun or your portal gun. And uh, through these you can, you can go through those holes. So you can go through the orange one and end up um, at the blue hole, wherever that is. This is weird to explain. Just watch the footage up here in the corner and you will understand. And that is my number 24 and number 23. I don't, I think most people know about these games already anyway, so I don't feel like I need to explain that much like I tried to do. So, number 24, 23, Portal 2, and Portal 1. My number 22 is Zone of the Enders 2. Uh, Zone of the Enders is a mech game where you take control of, in this one I believe it's still Jehuti, uh, which is a kind of Warframe robot thing with an AI that is alive, it feels like that in a way. And this is a continuation obviously of the first game uh, where you also play with the Jehuti Warframe or whatever you, however you say that. And in this game you are playing a miner I think that finds that frame. And uh, you go into it, and then the story starts, basically, from there, because you're getting attacked when you jump in that. And I don't remember too well what happens throughout the story, I just remember that I love the gameplay in these games. You're basically a robot flying around in space, and you can shoot a lot of rockets and uh, different weapons, and you have close combat weapons and ranged weapons, and it's just... It's a great feeling to go into space and into combat. It's a really, really fun game. And, uh... Yeah, Sonic Thunders, if you enjoy series like Robotech or Nadesico, I think it's called, uh, definitely look into this one. Or I guess Gundam and all those things that I don't watch, but yeah. My number 22, Sonic Thunders 2. My number 21 is a game that was released before Heavy Rain and before Beyond Two Souls. Well, obviously if it was released before Heavy Rain, but by the same company. Uh, Quantic Dream, I believe they're called. And uh, Fahrenheit is a thriller, horror, adventure game. It's basically a story that you just live through. There are play elements, obviously, but there's a lot of quick events, there's a lot of dialogue, there's a lot of things that you have to move around and try and solve yourself throughout the game. And you pick the dialogue direction, obviously. And the game starts off, you play a character called... Kane, I think. I think, I'm not sure on the name there. Uh, in the beginning, you're in the bathroom of an old diner. Well, not old diner necessarily, but a diner. And you're getting, well, we think, anyway, that you're mind-controlled into stabbing another person in the bathroom. And that's, and then you gain consciousness and you realize, oh, the hell, what have I done? And from this very scene, you can do a lot of different things. You can wash your hands of the blood, you can clean up the blood, you can hide the body, you can do a lot of different things. And while this is happening, there's also a police officer going towards the bathroom. 
And then you have the option to either go through the diner and escape or jump out through a window. There's a lot of different options in this first scene in the game. And depending on what you do in this scene, that will change the whole game later on. So when the officer goes into the bathroom, if you just left the body there, uh, he will find it quicker and there, there will be... Uh, they will have a like shorter time to find you as you escape. And uh, then you play, I think, two different sides of this. You play Kane. I, I, I don't feel like Kane is the right name. But you play this character and uh, you are escaping the law and you're trying to figure out why did you do this and yada yada. And then you also play the other side. You also play the officers that goes to investigate the scene. And the interesting part here is that when you play the escape P, <laughs> you can hide your evidence and you can do as much as you can to make it hard for the police to find everything. But you also play the police, so you don't actually have to find everything if you don't want to. So when you go to the crime scene, you can opt to not find all the things and make it harder for that side of the story. And depending on what you do and all your decisions throughout the game, I think there's about seven different endings, uh, seven different explanations to why this happened. And it's really interesting, and uh, one of those games that I really want to play through more times. Because I remember the first time I played through this, you're in your apartment as the main character, or the uh, criminal in this case, I guess. And something happens out in your living room, and I was freaking out about that. So I just, uh, maybe I can just go to back to sleep. And I clicked on the bed, and he went back to sleep. And I never got to see what was out in the living room. And I, yeah, up till this day, I have not found out what's out in the living room during that scene. So, that's something that I want to find out. Anyway, my number 21, Fahrenheit. <sighs> Alright everybody, thank you for watching. This was December 20th, 4 games. Uh, we're going into 20 and below next time. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to click the links above my face or down below to find the whole playlist where you can find all the videos uploaded so far on my top 100 games of all time. Uh, I hope you enjoy and yeah, we're soon five more days and then we're reaching the, the top four games of all time, according to me, which is correct. Just so you know. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.